I've been a long fan of the content first approach to design and AI is changing that rapidly. We're in luck to have the leader of that visiting us at the Cozy AI Kitchen. Stay tuned. So I know in design, copy is the most important thing because that's how you guide a user through what's essentially a storybook of knowledge and stuff. And we're in luck to have the chef of content of Microsoft here. Welcome, Chef Trish Winterhunt, Cozy Eye Kitchen. How are you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? Well, I got my like Ichiro bear here to keep me comfortable, so to give me some care. Okay. Um, I know like having care is important, support is important, and I see that you've sort of built a new kind of uh, AI care. I did. To your point, we could all use some affirmations, a little love, a little encouragement, and so I created an emotional support goose. Why a goose? Geese are very aggressive <laughs> and something to be feared. But when you combine that with uh, a friend, <laughs> it can be your feathered companion that can be aggressively encouraging. Can we put this goose to work for us here? I would love to. Yeah, let's watch the goose in action. Sure, so I woke up today, I was doom scrolling, and it just felt like a hard day today. So let's see what he has to say. He's thinking hard about this right now. Oh wow, all caps. All caps, he means business. Again, aggressively supportive. That's what we need. So basically, you're having a hard day. The goose comes in and flaps its wings to help you get going. Mm -hmm. And he'll attack anyone who he deems necessary. So Defending you? Defending me, yes. Oh, wow. Yes. Who must be pecked? Like, we can name people. Holy cow. Yeah. I like it. And yeah. you can take that same thinking into product design? Yes. In I, enterprise? You can. You just need to be a little less vindictive. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll show you what we do. Oh. Uh, so I have the opportunity and pleasure to work on Azure AI Foundry. I'm a product design manager. I lead a multidisciplinary team, but I'm also the content expert. And so I get a lot of requests for string reviews, um, questions about the style guide, and they're easy to answer. <laughs> so why not duplicate my knowledge? Use AI, give Use them AI. AI, give them an AI and agent, maybe? An agent. Oh. And going with the bird theme, this one, this one's called the penultimate penguin. Oh, wow. I know. Our team hey, loves a penguin. I know. We love penguins. We love penguins. Mm. Um, and penultimate because it's not quite a final draft. Okay. It still needs some intervention. Mm. So I have my prompt, super easy. So we're in the agents playing around here where I can make an agent? you can make an agent, you hmm. can create a new agent, but right. this is in the agents playground. I have, you know, chat GPT 4.0 deployed. Mm -hmm. I have my instructions. Right. I can give it a description and I can add knowledge and actions. What is knowledge? So knowledge is grounding and it's a way to really help your agent reference materials that you want it to reference. If it doesn't have grounding, what happens? It can hallucinate. It can give you just bad information. It can act like a goose, mm. right? We don't it can be that. ungrounded. It can be ungrounded, <laughs> yeah. yes, exactly. Got it, okay. So I'll show you how we add some knowledge. Thanks. Does that sound good? Okay. All right, so you can see I have a number of files already uploaded. So what, these files all are different types of knowledge that you have. Yes, so I have uh, our brand, some content design heuristics, we have tenants and traps that's based on research, hmm. and then of course some content guidance, and then of course, the large document, the writing style guide. These are ingredients for the agent? Ingredients, yes. Mm. So we will select some local files. We'll go into the cozy kitchen. You can see how it's prepared. <laughs> and then we're going to add errors because we have a lot of errors messages that we encounter when you're dealing with very complex technical spaces. And so we want to give it some best practices. So that's as easy. It was uploaded. Can you help the audience understand errors and why they're always there and why content is how you guide them out of the error? Yes. So as you know, if you've used tech, you might run into an error. It can be pretty frustrating. You feel stuck, but this is an opportunity to recover. You'll need the bear or you'll, the goose. You'll need the bear. And so content design can help you get unstuck, help you figure out the problem and get you back in the flow of your work. Pretty important there. Okay. Yes. So we will update it. And so now we can ask it a question. Um, we can ask it about errors even, if you'd like oh, to try that. Like I'm not able to connect to my agent. Yeah, or what makes 
a good error message. Mm. Like a liberal arts understanding there. <laughs> yes. Not bad. Mm. See, it's looking for the references, the ingredients. Right. And so here we go. It gives you um, the recipe for a good error message. It shows you how it grounded it. Mm. Um, yeah, lots of examples. Can I give it some content and it can improve it? It can. Yeah. So I have a whole list ready to go as well. Okay. And these are actual samples. <laughs> so these are ways that I would rewrite them, but I'd have to reference all these files on my own. Oh. Gosh, so sorry. <laughs> so I simply say, can you rewrite this? Yeah. And then we'll get rid of that bullet. Wow. So it's like asking for content expertise that's mm -hmm. grounded. Yes. Sorry. Oh, it's telling you why too. Yes. Hmm. So before you can mitigate or manage risks, you need to identify them clearly. Hmm. And it gets rid of the jargon, right? We were using words, you know, put a finger on, like that's an idiom, that's jargon. It's not really clear. It doesn't translate well. Hmm. So this really simplifies it. And then it tells you why it did that. Now, for people who say, well, shouldn't a human write that instead? What is your take? <sighs> A human did write this and it's referencing it, right? Um, yeah. And I would say that when it comes to rewriting strings, that's not the best use of my time or energy. <laughs> I don't find that fun. I don't find it particularly engaging. And I would really love to focus on the full UX flow, the content strategy, the overarching product design, as opposed to whether or not we use sentence case or title case. Mm. So you mean you won't have to call on your goose when people send you 100 Correct. lists of strings to yeah, like talk to, to manually. Goose. Yes. <laughs> talk to the goose. Exactly. Well, you know, this uh, this kind of technology is changing content a lot, also layout as well. Do you have any like thoughts to give to people out there who are starting out in content, leading in the product, what they can do with AI or what, what should they do? Yeah, I think play, right? Like that's why we started with the emotional support goose. You can play around, see what happens when you play with some prompts, um, really use Copilot, ChatGPT to help you with your writing, see how it, you know, can assist you. Um, but really just start playing, stay curious and test things out. You can't go wrong. And if you do, you'll see my error message. And you got the goose. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Chef Winterhunt. Thank you. Everyone, content, AI, now's the time. Thank you.